Hello everyone and welcome to another at maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing form 4 additional mathematics chapter 6 linear law hot question example 1. Okay before that please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay let me read the question now. The following table shows the corresponding values of two variables x and y obtained from an experiment as you can see here this row consists all the data from x variable and the second row here consists all the data from the y variable continue to read the question the variables x and y are related by the equation y equals to a b to the power of x minus 1 where a and b are constants continue to read the question part a using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x minus 1 axis and 2 cm to 0.2 unit on the log 10 y axis plot the graph of log 10 y against x minus 1 hence draw the line of best fit for the question part b from your graph find the value of a and of b the value of y when x equals to 5.5 okay guys so this is the overall question so I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. But if you can't solve this question, no worries. I'm going to show you the step by step working and the solutions. So without further delay, let us start to solve this question. Let us begin our discussion for the question part A. To solve the question part A, we're going to use three steps working guys. Okay, the first step what we're going to do is we're going to change this non-linear equation into the linear form. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new table based on x minus 1 axis and log 10 y axis. Okay, and then we're going to combine together with the x and y. So once we do that, we can able to proceed with the third step by plotting the graph of log 10 y against x minus 1. So this is the overall idea on how we're going to solve the question part A. Okay, so let us begin our working now. So from here, change. Okay. So from here, the question given the non-linear equation is y equals to ab to the power of x minus one. Let us write it over here. So y equals to ab to the power of x minus one. So from here, to continue to the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to lock both sides. You should get log 10 y equals to log 10 in a bracket a b to the power of x minus 1 close bracket. So from here, let us continue in your left hand side. It still remains the same, which is log 10 y. Whereas for the right hand side, so what you're going to do is this single logarithm, you're going to split into two logarithm by the addition rule guys. Okay, so from here, it will become log 10 a plus with log 10, oops, 10 b to the power of x minus 1. Okay, so let us continue. So for the next step, what you're going to do is this x minus 1, we can bring it in front over here. So from here, you should get log 10y is equals to log 10a plus with x minus 1 log 10b. Okay. So... For the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this whole equation such that it is fulfilled the y equals the mx plus c form. Okay, so from here, log 10 y is it equals to log 10 b. Okay, let me put a bracket over here. And then beside this will be x minus 1. Okay, and then you plus with log 10 a okay so from here this log 10 y is representing the 
y axis okay and then this log 10 b is representing the gradient of the straight line and then this x minus 1 is representing the x axis okay and then this log 10 a is representing the y intercept okay as you can see here we have already compared the equation here in terms of the straight line equation form which is in terms of y equals to mx plus c so this is our first step guys which we already changed the non-linear equation into the linear form okay so from here let us proceed to the second step where we will be creating a new table based on x minus 1 and log 10 y so from here okay so from here what you're gonna do is we're gonna create a table which has a variable of x y and then in addition of the two new variable which is x minus 1 and log 10 y so please give me some time guys for me to construct a table over here okay we have already constructed the table so let us put all the respected variables over here so let us start with x followed by y okay and the third one will be x minus 1 okay and the last one will be log 10 y okay so from here let us put all the values of x and y respectively so from here x would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then the y values are 36.0, Okay, and the last one is 0. 6, 7. Okay, so we're going to use this x and y values where we're going to continue with x minus 1 axis and log 10 y axis. So from here, let us begin with x minus 1. So from here, when your x equals to 1, your x minus 1 will be 0. Since 1 minus 1, you should get is 0, guys. Okay, so from here, you get 0. Okay, and then at over here, when your x equals to 2, your x minus 1 will be equals to 1 because 2 minus 1 you should get is 1 so you will be following this pattern okay from here let us continue so when your x equals to 3 your x minus 1 will be 2 okay and then continue with 3 4 and 5 okay so from here let us calculate the uh, y value with log 10 y okay so from here when y equals to 36.0 your log 10 y will be 1.56 okay and then followed by 1.22 okay and then followed by 0 0.86 okay and then followed by 0 0.52 okay and then followed by 0 0.17 Okay, and then your last value should be negative 0 0.17. Okay, so I've already constructed the new table based on x minus 1 and log 10 y. Okay, so this is our second step. Okay, once we have already done the step 1 and step 2, so our step 3 will be plot the graph guys. Okay, so let me write over here. So the step 3 plot the graph okay by the way i've already completed the graph for you so allow me to show you the completed graph so please wait so let me put this into the full screen mode okay so this is the completed graph so as you can see here this is the title of 
the graph where I've mentioned here graph of log 10 y against x minus 1 so this log 10 y is your y axis and this x minus 1 is your x axis okay so from here so this is how your graph should look like so okay from here let us continue to the question part b so let me close this graph for now okay so for the question part b we are required to find the please wait for a while okay we are required to find the value of a and b okay question b part one now guys okay so from here question b part one we are required to find the value of a and b so in order to find the value of a and b so from here what you're going to do is so i'm going to write here step four instead of step uh, one itself because i'm treating this whole question as one single question so from here let us continue so once you've already plotted the graph so your step four will be find the gradient of the graph okay so from here find the gradient of the graph okay if you don't know the gradient of the graph formula so given that the formula m is equals to okay in a bracket y2 minus y1 okay and then you divide with x2 minus x1 okay close bracket so from here this is the formula to find the gradient of the straight line okay so let me uh, open the graph again so from here we have already selected the two points over here so the first point here is the coordinate 1.5 and 1.04 and then the second point over here is 3.5 comma 0.34 so you choose any two points within the straight line over here and then you form a triangle we're going to find the gradient of the straight line okay so from here let us continue so from the graph your gradient of the straight line will be equals to so y2 y minus y1 so in this case will be 1.04 minus with 0 0.34 okay and then you divide with 1.5 okay and then you minus with 3.5 okay, close bracket so let me underline the fraction okay so you calculate this you should get the gradient of the straight line where your m is equals to negative 0 0.35 okay so this negative 0 0.35 we have obtained from the graph okay but then we have already have a gradient of the straight line from the equation that we have formed which is log 10 b so from the next step what you're going to do is we're going to compare this log 10 b with negative 0 0.35 okay and from there we should be able to find the value of b okay so from here compare with log 10 b so from here log 10 b is equals to negative 0 0.35 okay so from here to find the value of b so what you do you anti log okay where you get 10 to the power of negative 0 0.35 three five so from here you should get your b approximate 0 0.45 okay so this is your first solution okay let me underline this okay so this is your step four so once we get the gradient of the straight line now we can proceed to the next step which is find the y intercept Okay, from here step 5 find the y intercept okay so from here 
we're going to open the graph again okay let me change it into the full screen mode so as you can see here from the graph okay i'm so sorry guys if it is, it is not that clear but actually within the graph over here this y intercept should able to give you the value of 1.56 okay so that is the actual value of your y intercept okay let me turn back to the original question so from here from the graph you should be getting your y intercept is equals to 1.56 okay this is the value that we obtained directly from the graph okay there is another value that we have obtained from the equation which is log 10 a okay so what you're going to do is we're going to compare this log 10 a with this 1.56 okay so from here compare with log 10 a so from here log 10 a log 10 a is equals to 1.56 so to get the a what you do you anti log this so from here you get 10 to the power of 1.56 so you calculate this you should get your a approximately 36.31 okay so this is your second solution okay, let me underline this okay we have already successfully solved the question b part one okay let us proceed to the question b part two okay for the question b part two the question asks us to find the value of y when x equals to 5.5 okay to solve this question we need to open back the graph paper again okay so from here but before opening the graph paper okay i'm going to teach you how to solve the last question so from here when x equals to 5.5 okay comma so you should be really careful when solving this question okay when x equals to 5.5 so from here your x minus 1 will be equals to 5.5 minus 1 so from here you should be getting equals to 4.5 okay this means that when you are looking the value in the graph paper you should be looking for 4.5 not 5.5 guys so please don't make this mistake okay even sometimes uh, i have missed out this information okay in a rush i might have uh, sometimes i might have just take this value straight away by right you should not do that okay what you should do you should have uh, substitute the original axis where it is x minus 1 where it is 5.5 minus 1 where you get equals to 4.5 so this 4.5 you sub you find in the graph paper and then you look for the respective value okay so this 4.5 okay is actually over here guys okay we can't see it let me put in the full screen so this 4.5 is over here in the middle okay so from here when your x minus 1 is equals to 4.5 as you get here your log 10 y axis is actually equals to 0 okay so from here let us write down in the working here so from the graph when x minus 1 is equals to 4.5 comma so from here when you look in the graph paper you get your log 10 y is equals to 0 but this is not the final answer guys you should get the original y value so to get the y value what you do you anti log this so from here your y is equals to 10 to the power of 0 so 10 to the power of 0 you should get your y 
equals to 1. So this is your final answer guys. Okay, so let me outline the solution. Okay, usually for the question A and question B, part 1, student can solve. The only part where the student tend to make mistake is the last part. Okay, which is this one. Okay, this part, you should be really careful when you're solving it. Okay, so that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question. I hope you understand the full working that I've shown to you. If you like this video, please give your thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video. Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.